Hi, my name is Dominika Dujak. I wrote a, a book about blockchain uh, and its applications in the hospitality and tourism. I'm one of the alumni uh, uh, and a year ago I uh, graduated from my MBA at the Emirates Academy of Hospitality Management. I find blockchain uh, extremely interesting because it's uh, such a powerful and foundational technology. Very few people really know how many in other innovations uh, blockchain enables. It's not only about the infrastructure and the platforms, uh, cryptocurrencies. These are the use cases that we know best, right? But, uh, but it's also about NFTs, blockchain powers uh, metaverse, blockchain powers the creation of Web3. So as I said, you know, what I find really, really interesting is that it's so versatile so powerful and at the same time it's so misunderstood because uh, many people actually you know uh, put an equal sign between blockchain and bitcoin and think that like i said blockchain is only about cryptocurrencies um, there are there are a lot of misconceptions and a lot of myths around blockchain and and there is also a perception that it's extremely complex technology very time very very energy consuming uh, and uh, and uh, very complex and, and uh, inefficient. So one of the things this, that, that made me write a book about it was the conviction that, you know, these things, these myths, they need to be busted. You, that someone has to, has to make them, that technology much, much more clear for the hospitality industry. What inspired me really was, you know, my MBA, the thesis that I wrote and the research that, that I focused on during my MBA studies was, uh, was focused on the applications of blockchain technology in hospitality and tourism. And, you know, what I realized uh, during the interviews with hospitality professionals here in Dubai is that, you know, many people, that there are a lot of myths and, and many people either lack knowledge uh, the, the, the level of awareness is really, really low and those who do understand, you know, or have heard about blockchain, um, they uh, have a lot of, you know, um, convictions that are not actually, you know, entirely true. Um, and there's, uh, even though uh, we're in Dubai, which is extremely blockchain friendly and, you know, we've got blockchain events and we've got conferences and uh, public authorities have and, and government have created an extremely friendly and welcoming framework for blockchain companies, blockchain projects and, and, and developers. Uh, hospitality industry is lagging behind it's still something it's one of these technologies that uh, hasn't had its breakthrough um, it's very much very misunderstood and I you know I do believe that there is a need to to educate the professionals in this field and to give them a tool to give them a way to educate themselves about blockchain in a simple and accessible way and you know blockchain is perceived as a complex technology and indeed it's not the easiest one <laughs> but uh, so so that is why i wrote my book because you know i was aiming to create like a guide uh, into blockchain world for non-tech professionals so you don't have to really be you know even in the it department to really you know um, learn a lot through that book and I aimed to write it in a way that is not going to be super boring, to focus, you know, on, on a lot of applications of blockchain, to also equip reader, readers with ideas and use cases uh, that they can apply in their businesses. So when I came up with, uh, with the idea to write the book, uh, well, I had my thesis uh, 
written and, and I spoke to my uh, professor, uh, uh, Dr. Sanjay Natkarni, and I said, look, uh, I think I did a good job, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, I, I put a lot of work, a lot of effort in it, and I think, you know, maybe, maybe I could publish it as an article, you know, and he said, why don't you write a book? Why don't you submit a book proposal and convert it into a book? And I said, oh, wow, that's, that, that sounds extremely ambitious. Um, and, uh, you know, I didn't really have a lot of faith in it, but his support, you know, he said, you know, try, just, just give it a go. So, so that's what I did. I, I, I submitted a pr proposal and uh, to my surprise, the publisher came back after a couple of weeks and they said, yeah, we love the idea. We want to, we want to publish it. And, uh, and uh, it was the time when I uh, decided to join a new venture. I, you know, I joined a new company. I'm a co-founder and, and product head uh, for a fintech startup. So that takes a lot of time. So all of a sudden, writing a book and 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 you know, making it work with my professional life that became quite a quite a challenge, to be honest. So um, so. I decided that the best way for me to approach it is to project manage it like any other thing that that I do in my professional life right so I created a long project plan you know very detailed how many words on this day how many words on that day you know I had a very structured approach and then I realized that it doesn't make sense at all because you know one day you've got the inspiration and you can write you know 10 pages 20 whatever on the other day, you procrastinate, you watch Netflix, you may, you know, you do all sorts of things, but you just, the last thing you want to do is to write your book, right? So indeed, it was a challenge. Uh, you know, I could write in the evenings, early evenings or late, uh, or sorry, early mornings or late evenings or uh, weekends. Um, that's why it took a bit longer than I expected. But in the end, it was a very rewarding experience, right? Uh, you have this feeling that, yeah, I've, I've created this, right? And it, it kind of gives you a sense of, you know, you're proud of yourself. So um, I would definitely recommend, you know, if you, if you have a knack for writing, if you like writing, and have a topic that you're passionate about, one thing that, that you have to have is passion for the topic because otherwise, if you're not that into that topic, you're never going to make it. I can tell you that. Yeah, so, so uh, I think Dr. Uh, Sanjay was absolutely instrumental in this because uh, during the MBA, we had a class on, you know, uh, innovations, uh, a whole subject on innovations and uh, industry 4.0. And, you know, he, he was he was only enabling, he was creating a room for for this type of thinking, right? For something, and this is, this is not a typical hospitality topic, right? But as you can see behind me, you know, we're in the innovation hub and one of the things that we discussed was blockchain, right? Uh, so uh, even when we started, you know, it, with the statistics, we were already, you know, discussing innovations and entrepreneurship and, you know, making sure that our horizons are really, really broad and wide open. Uh, on the other hand, the school, the academy also works closely with HFTP. Uh, so HFTP, uh, you know, as one of the organizations that is focusing on finance and tech professionals and in hospitality space, they organize a, a high tech uh, conference, which is very much focused again on innovations and new technologies uh, and developments in the field of hospitality, right? So I think the role of the academy and, and Dr. Sanjay was absolutely, absolutely instrumental and the Academy was always, always supportive uh, and always, you know, um, pushing me to, to do, you know, to, to write a book, to um, uh, helping with the research, for instance. So I would say, you know, if I, without the Academy and Dr. Sanjay, I think that that definitely wouldn't be possible.